Hi, welcome to Vision Classes. It's a classes for YGCSE, GCSE and AS and A level student around the globe. So today we have to discuss some of the shortcomings of Cambridge Board. So first one is high academic pressure. So high academic pressure means the Cambridge curriculum like IGCSE, A level are rigorous academic standard and they have a certain sets of standards are there and amount of syllabus that is there for IGCSE or ASA level it's a kind of pressure for the student because it, it involves the depth of understanding is expected right and then it lead to stress among the student anxiety even some feel that this this curriculum is out of context as well so so some of the student faces the actually extreme difficulty in understanding the conceptual part that's the first part and secondly limited local context means the if you look at the social economic and history geography and quality of each region is different one but in the cambridge curriculum it is designed to be globally applicable it means sometimes it lacks the specific local culture history societal issues and it could disconnect the student from their region actually and it's it's a more of related to the western world fine for example history and literature are part extracted from the european history but lacks local understanding of history for the igcse and as and a level student then high cost so cambridge education actually is too expensive i would say sometimes because if you look at the registration examination then textbook sometime even additional tutoring those things or add up to the burden for the parent the student as well right so cambridge board less accessible to the student from the lower income families so it's a, it's a actually it creating the inequality among the, the the high income group and low income group fine and it's barrier for the lower income group fine then nextly assessment focus so Cambridge still believes or focus on the exam and standardized testing but rather it is expected to assess the student's creativity then critical thinking practical application and more of the student's wholesome development right so if suppose some student is performing good in their sports so it is expected to assess him in that perspective and even it in including his overall grading system but this is still lacking in cambridge board then last but not least it's a resource dependency the cambridge exam require high quality standardized materials and teachers even private tutors as well but this is not case but here we see the urban and rural divide so how basically in the urban region the resources are available teachers are available private tutors are also available online connectivity is there but in rural region actually even though some of the cambridge schools are there but there you see there is a lack of quality teachers are there lack of resources are also there even some of the resources are too expensive in the local region and their tools are intermixing with other boards as well i mean actually cambridge board require understanding or depth knowledge of each and every other subject but in the school what they do is that they take the teachers from the other faculty members let's say for example other boards as well and they put to teach the cambridge syllabus so that's uh, also these days going on so that's not expected it is expected to teach it in proper way fine enjoy the learning thank you